Hello, everybody, and welcome to Red to Chatter, the podcast. Sorry, the show about everything Star Wars happens every time. I got it right the last two times, but this time, for some reason, my mind, like, I'm so used. After going 19 episodes of saying podcast. <laughs> right now. Yeah. It, it's, it's hard to change the, the, the deal. Right. So, <laughs> so, I'm Dallin. This is Jay. Hey, guys. That's Ryan over there. Hello. And um, we got quite a bit of news, but I don't think it would take us that long. So, because I have an extra chatter planned out, both of us have extra chatters planned out. Yeah, we'll see if we get there. Yeah, we'll just get Again, right we're in. not on right. any time limit or whatever. <laughs> right. We can we'll go just, forever. We'll just dive right into news from around the galaxy. Uh, following the debut of the recent Last Jedi trailer, which was awesome, uh, Ryan Johnson had some pretty interesting interactions with the fans. We'll just read through some of the. Uh, yeah. Some of them. So, uh, Vanity Fair says, Good luck getting Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson to explain the last what The Last Jedi means. We tried. Here's what they said. And Ryan Johnson just says, It's Luke. <laughs> the Last Jedi is Luke. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy says, Ryan Johnson, can you confirm that this fictional creation of yours is canine or feline? But please, but please put real debates about The Last Jedi to rest. Uh, and he says it's crystalline, <laughs> the the yeah, crystalline the, fox. The fox, yeah. Uh, this guy says, Ryan Johnson, my six-year-old daughter wanted to ask you, does Ray turn to the dark side? And he simply just gives a picture of him Boy. raising his eyebrow. Hmm. Mm. That's it. I like that though. That is funny. Yep. <laughs> uh, David Comp says, "Come on, pal." That's it from Q and A from March. But Ryan, can we now reveal that Last Jedi is your fe- first feature not to inclu- include Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Nope, snuck him in. <laughs> yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt has cameo in Star Wars: so, The Last Jedi. Right. <laughs> That's funny. It's kind of like you know J.J. Abrams with um uh, I forget what his Simon name is. Pegg. So, or, and and uh, the other guy. The guy who plays Snap Wexley. Yeah, and he played in Heroes and right. and Lost and all that stuff. Right. Uh, yeah, sort of the same deal. Yeah. I think uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's been in all of Ryan Johnson's movies yeah. so far. So. <laughs> so they stuck him in there? Yeah. Uh, That's funny. Seriously, follow Star Wars, uh, fellow, seriously, fellow Star Wars fans, thank you for being so patient. Hope you like what you see. I'm so proud of this movie, and I can't wait for December. Neither can I, Ryan. Neither right. can I. Me neither. My sentiments are the same. <laughs> So, I, I like it. I like how he's interacting with the fans, and he's having fun with them. He's like, he's, you know, like Ron Howard. Ron right. Howard has fun with the fans. I, mean, and... I think Ron Howard just kind of started that. You know, like, the whole Star Wars director should interact with the fans. Even if it's just, like, little things. Yeah, yeah. He little really inconsequential yes, things. Inconse- yeah, but it helps to right. just promote it and for people to stay engaged. Right. It does keep people engaged, keeps people talking about it, thinking about it. Keeps it in the forefront of their mind. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great idea. I mean, Ron Howard tweets are the best. Right, I mean, <laughs> they, Ryan Johnson, I think we'll see a lot more of this from him since the movie's wrapped, it's done, it's in the can, it's ready to go. Yeah. He has nothing else <laughs> to do but promote it now. True. So I think we'll see a lot more of this. So him. he says, it says, the crystalline fox is apparently everyone's new favorite Star Wars animal. <laughs> yeah. Over, <laughs> overtook the porgs. Apparently. Yeah, overtook the porgs. I love the porgs, huh? though, man. It's great. I love them. <laughs> all right to sort of uh going off of that the last jedi trailer had an impressive amount of views in its first 24 hours we can get to that number yeah let's see here uh earlier this week the full trailer okay so 120.1 million times in just the first 24, 24 hours. hours and that was almost well 29.1 million more than the teaser we saw. At yeah. Celebration. A celebration. Wow. That's crazy. In 24 hours. <laughs> also, I like this poster. It still doesn't eclipse the record for this year, I think. No. Which is it. It. The movie had more, more, had more had trailers. 197 million. Wow. That's crazy. Times in 24 hours. I bet you. I bet you. <clears throat> I bet you. Star Wars: The Last Jedi makes more money. I would guarantee <laughs> that. 
<laughs> probably. Oh. Well, no, not probably. Although, if you guys haven't seen it, I I really enjoyed the movie. It's worth going to see. It, um, yeah. A little side note. Right. I, I've just seen <clears throat> the one clip where he's like doing the dance. That's the only part that I've seen of that movie, and it made me laugh. <laughs> That's good. So, let's see. So, we got the trailer. Now we're starting to get TV spots, and this latest TV spot has a little bit of additional dialogue from and, and Luke himself and a, and couple, a couple other shots. scenes. Yeah, shots. The same scenes, but maybe different, different Yeah, different, different angles, shots. different shots. Or just little extended views. Yeah. So, yeah, the first, uh, the only real line that I saw that was added was um the uh the opening the line. opening line what why are you here yeah luke asks why are you why here? are you here and no. she and then that's he when, asking it to you though he's yeah. asking it to ray come on right. it's gotta be what what do you right. what if it's rin what if it's a what if no, it's I, in I, the I, flashback i when, was right i'm almost 100 percent sure it's ray. like over under 90 percent i'd say over 90 percent that it's, it's gotta be ray. Well, well who else would we say that to why are you here it's like Right. Hey, Chewie, why are you here? Right. I mean, that's, that's Archie, like why are we here? Yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> well, like, Ray is the one that came up to him and was handed a lightsaber. And the, I, it I would, would think be if a natural was, reaction to go, why are you here? I would think if it was if but, it was him talking to Kylo, he'd say, how how did you find me? I mean, yes. Now, okay, but like... Notice <laughs> that when she gives him the lightsaber, she instantly walks off. She like, Well, she, the camera she, pans back get, and like... Or maybe she just takes a few steps back. It looks like she like pivots and walk like gets out of there. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me but, when but I that, see but that scene. That could be what's it called after he's already said, "Why are you here?" That or yeah, she. It could be like kind of like she completely ignores that statement at first. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's she's got to be talking to Ray. It's the only thing that makes I, sense to me. Right, right. You guys say so. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's also another shot of like a little bit of Finn when he's fighting Phasma. Yeah, it's there's like kind of just a reaction shot. shot. Kind of like, yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then like, a little BB-8, bit added, a little added like BB-8, rolling yeah. his head around yeah. in the cockpit that he's in. That's about the only yeah, that's, that's, that's that's additional added scenes. Stuff. Yeah, so it's pretty short, but still cool. I yeah. still love watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watching yeah. Ad nauseum almost. <laughs> All right, so on to the next topic. And Andy Serkis, who does the motion cap for uh, Supreme Leader Smoke. 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 <laughs> smoke. 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 With an in. He, he talks about bringing Snoke to life. He has some pretty neat comments. You can scroll down, I think, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I first worked on it with The Force Awakens director J.J. Abrams, there was an evolving design of the character. It was going through a lot of changes. But it's all about where the character... Shush. It's all about where the character carries his pain or aggression or emotional centers. And with Snoke, it was very much there putting his hands on the back of his head. So he's like... And his skull got this big scar in the front. So for me, it was a frac. So for me, it was a fracturing. He got his cleft in his head, and I think it's very painful for him to speak. And yet, there's this imperiousness about him. He's severely damaged, but there's a vulnerability that he's trying to cover. So that was sort of what I was trying to do. I can I can see that where he's like, because if you watch that, just the. From the first movie, Force, Force Awakens. Awakens, you can tell it, Andy Serkis made it look like it was difficult for him to talk. Like right. it was like almost could, painful. Yeah, when he spoke. Like when, like I mean, take for example one of his most famous lines: "Bring her to, to me. me." It sounds right. very strained and very like, and he in like his facial expressions. And how he's kind of like leaning forward as he's saying it. It's like he's rasping those words out. Yeah, like struggling to get the words out. Bring her to me. Yeah. yeah. So like it's one of my favorite lot of Snoke of lines. Movie, yeah. It is a great line. So yeah, I can. I mean, he did an excellent job. Of course, Andy Serkis and knows, I know, knows what he's doing. It wasn't necessarily in this article, but a secondary article came out to this, and. Andy Circus also said that there is a full backstory on Snoke. Okay. They know what, where he what came he from, what his, you know, 
Well, what I, motivates I kinda, him? I kind of figured, you know, he, Pablo Hidalgo. I'm sure Pablo Hidalgo and Kathleen Kennedy have the freaking and Star Wars. And, and everyone right. who's working on Star Wars at the moment. They know what's what movies are coming out like 10 years from now. Well, and they also... I'm guaranteeing you, you they probably You don't start a know. story or a movie and have your, like, main bag... You don't know anything about well, them. Yeah, no, yeah. first start. Yeah. You flesh out that character... In you pre-planning, have, you have yes. to, because you have to know their motivations, where you know where they're coming from, why they think what they're doing is right, mm-hmm. and all you know. Yeah, and if you don't give the actor that, then the actor can't do the part very right. well. Right, the actor has to know that in order. Yeah, in order. To, you in don't the, have to give them all the details, but you need no. the backstory and sort yeah. of like, you know, what he's dealt with in the past to make it believable. Yeah. So it, it is cool to. Andy Serkis does an awesome job well, with his mocap stuff. I mean, you look at Gollum. all the other stuff he's done. Yeah, Caesar from mm-hmm. Planet of the Apes. Apes. And Gollum's just, just the greatest. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing work. Yeah, Gollum. Plus, amazing. he's just a great actor in his, in yeah, his own. In his own yeah, like... I mean, like uh, you know, he's coming up in Black, Black Panther. Black Panther as Dr. Claw. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, he's just great. Great actor. Yeah. Can't wait to see more of Snoke. Yeah, me too. Huh? It's going to be good. All right, so on to the next one. So, word is, Han Solo trailer is ready to go. Like, they have one cut. But we won't be able to see that until sometime in November is the speculation right now. Do you now. think it might be during the Last Jedi no, I trailer think, section? I think we're going to get a little bit of a, a teaser. teaser prior to that. And then I bet they'll just play the teaser f- for the last oh, Jedi, they'll definitely play the, whatever it is. And then we the won't get a full trailer until this is all me speculating. Uh, early March, probably. Okay. Because yeah. the movie doesn't come out till May. I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. too surprised seeing how it's Lucasfilm if it's not during Ragnarok that you get this Han Solo trailer. Yeah, I that, could see that. that, that could be, that's my guess. Just because it's it's Marvel, it's Disney, it's Lucasfilms are all together. Certainly, you know. that same week. Yes. Like, that you know, right. maybe, maybe comes out might, on that Thursday. We might get the trailer online on Monday. You might, yeah. And then it comes out, and the first time you will see the theater will be during Ragnarok. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. It. That would be a pretty good guess. Uh, however, they're saying that we could get the official title to the untitled Han Solo movie finally. Prior to that, watch. It's gonna be just something so simple. It's gonna be solo. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just gonna be solo. <laughs> A Star Wars story. <laughs> it's it's going to be solo a Star Wars story. I wouldn't yeah, What, I wouldn't what do you think it. the odds are on that? With it? So I said picking over under, say... That it's just solo a, a Star Wars 35% story? 35% that it's... So over 35% that it's just going to be called solo. I, I, I would go over. Going that, over? Yeah, I'd go over. I'd, I'd go over. I'd go over 35%. That's just solo a Star Wars movie. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go halfway. 50-50. It could so be that something w- like so that way I don't feel guilty. <laughs> a smuggler's tale or something. It could yeah, be something I, like I that. I think they're gonna come up with something else just because of the way they've been saying. Like every tweet is the untitled Han, Han Solo, Solo movie. movie. I Maybe think they're gonna, gonna be a smuggler's tale. I mean, a lot Star of people Wars story. I don't know. A lot of people be, say uh, that like they they're should, gonna surprise us. I think they should call if they do a Kenobi movie. In between, they should call it like. Um, a lot of people are saying they should they should call it Vagabond, a Star Wars story, or Hermit, <laughs> Hermit. a Star Wars story. Star Wars Beyond story. the Dune Sea. Beyond, Beyond the, the Dune, Dune Sea. Thing. There you go. <laughs> but I, I'm with you guys over 35. percent I'm, I'm over that 35%. it'll be so. I solo. just think there is that part of me that thinks they'll be a little more creative. And I mean, there was a movie already called Solo, so maybe they won't go with that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just with, excited with to... Mario Van Peoples. If nobody has ever seen that movie, <laughs> right. I'm just Most excited to haven't. see the new <laughs> characters that they come up with with this story. Although I think there's three different movies called No Escape, and they have nothing true, to do. True, with true. Nothing to do with each other. One of them is one of my top five favorite movies. Scruffy looking Nerf Herder, a Star Wars story. <laughs> <There you> <laughs> Perfect. Maybe it is just scoundrel. 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 Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we? Ron Howard. Ron Howard. It's, yeah, of it's, course, it's a Ron Howard tweet segment. We should make a little jingle for this every <laughs> right. time it freaking happens. Yeah, this here is Ron Howard. Ron Howard. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Ron Howard. Ron Howard tweet. 
Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> There you go. You totally use the, totally use the jailbird Ron rock. Howard tweeting <laughs> all day long. long. Anyway, you, you don't want to hear us sing. Probably. No, you definitely don't want to hear me sing. All right. <laughs> so what's the tweet about, Alan? Well, it's this. It's like a blue doorway. It looks to be on, you know, kind of a junk ship. Like a junker ship or a smuggler ship, right? And it's got this blue mist around it. Is and it, he says... Could be a tough, planet. Yeah, it could be a planet. He says, Tough neighborhoods contain doorways to adventure, mystery, and excitement. Untitled Han Solo movie. I'll go back to that. Oh, does yeah. that look like like glow-in-the-dark footprints? What the heck is that? Right. there on the bottom. Like a black is this, light? Is this Star-Lord's... A uh, ship <laughs> from I mean, Guardians of like... the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. If if I had a black light in here, the whole thing would look like a Jackson Pollock <laughs> paint, painting. <laughs> no, but doesn't that look like footprints? It yeah, looks it's like a, like under black light. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty cool looking. It is. I wonder, I wonder if it's part of like the spice mines. You know, with the, it might be that dust Kessel? and stuff. Yeah, from Kessel. Maybe. We'll know. see. The drug mines. Can't wait till we see it. I know. I'm. I mean, I'm excited for it, but God, I want this. I want Last Jedi first, and then I'll be totally geeked up. Oh for yeah, Han Solo. After oh yeah. That. Especially I mean, if this first, like, we've been anticipating, like, we we're supposed to actually get some footage at D23 three? from this Han Solo movie, but then everything went down. With Lord Miller, Lord Miller. Yeah. And Ron Howard moved in, to and the he had to kind of yeah, so, like. I've been wait- like we've all been waiting for mm. some sort of like just images or you know yeah. besides like these tweets like a title something, something. revealed uh, yeah nothing, nothing man there's like nothing. But, I mean, there's not even like getting getting posters these. or nothing there's like not even a it's movie like a poster or dust nothing. through the wind <laughs> at least we're getting these tweets from Ron Howard is keeping keeping us a little bit satiated <laughs> yeah he's just giving us a drip of water into our thirsty mouths at a time. And they had another tweet. I don't think Down has it up, but he had another tweet that he made some like some comic book characters. This is from the older comic books, like canon, like oh, yeah, their yeah. names at least. Now oh, their yeah. characters may not be the same. I hope technically, but I want those two sisters that you can see in the cantina. I don't remember what their names are, but they're the. Oh, we just went to that panel at Salt, Salt Lake. Salt Lake. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember. And they named them. Yes. Their names are, but I remember seeing and hearing about the comic that was made back in the extended universe about the two of them, and I remember hearing that it was really interesting and really cool. And I'm like, I just want those two to come back some way because I like I love those two; they're awesome. Yeah, who knows? I mean, yeah, somebody might they might they might put them in this in, movie. In the Han know. Solo movie would be a good place. Yeah. For them, because they were that you know they're they're, they're in, in that, that circle. Crowd. They're in so, that circle, right? Yeah. Do you think for this, like, okay, so for the Star Wars story ones, you know how in the original, like in the actual saga, the main storyline, yeah. they always have that tradition of, I have a bad feeling about this. What if the Star Wars stories have their own tradition where they're like. Where those, where those two guys come up again, the Rollers man and and, and, and they his, always and the sidekick. Yeah, and they're always they're always there. Yeah, that would be kind of a cool like well, tradition to have maintained. As long as the movies prior put, put to in the, that yeah put in that timeline, right. but still like and that would prior be a really, to the cantina scene. Yeah, because I yeah. think they both bite it. I'm not sure. If, oh no, Pan, Panda Baba! If you remember, remember he, he showed us the. Oh, oh yeah, he, he showed us back. the footage. At, at Salt Lake City Comic Con, they have some footage that was not put on the film where he actually does cut off uh, Panda or Panda Baba's head. Yeah, yeah. Obi Wan. Walrus, Walrus Man's head gets cut off by Obi Wan. Yeah, so he they does just cut that out of the scene. movie. But he's right. so he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> don't know about the other guy. Though. The other guy, I don't know. But yeah, I, I think that would be kind of a cool like little Easter egg to slip into every. You know they'll slip in Easter egg. I mean that's oh yeah like the Star Wars. Sort of stories I think are going to be all. Oh bad. yeah, Rogue One was just a whole bunch of right, Easter just eggs. littered with little Easter eggs. <laughs> I like to see I like to see Imbo show up in this movie, but oh, I doubt so it's going to happen. Just as just like as a Cad Bane, Bane character. just a guy in the back. Like, yeah, Cad Bane. Cad Bane. Yeah. Just Cad like Bane. a background character. Yeah, I mean, well, you could just see him Cad walk Bane. across the background. That's it. That's all. And you that, see. remember they showed that uh, that one we went to celebration and they showed us that 
like test footage that they had for a future episode where Cad Bane and Boba, Boba Fett, Fett were fighting. And it looks like Cad Bane freaking got killed by Boba Fett. But when, that was not that confirmed. That, that's not confirmed that is and true. it's not canon. Right, so because it's, it's never made the screen. But like that's how he got his dent in his helmet. That please, it's still just, a legend. Just it's still a legend. Just yep. <laughs> Lucasfilm, create that episode as just like a like a one hour special. <laughs> I would freaking take that because that episode looks so good. All right, so on to Rebels now. Yes, uh, Star Wars Rebels premiered Monday. Monday. Mm-hmm. So, but prior to that, they released a like five minute video sort of recapping episodes seasons one through three i watched it it's really well put together uh, you know they just kind of go over the highlights and sort of the main story yeah what's through line what that happens gets us to where far. we are yep yeah it's really cool if you haven't watched the rebels yet you know maybe you're waiting for it to come out on blu-ray or, or dvd you know, or wait maybe you're waiting for all of your Episodes, episodes to, be all, to be on your DVR, so you can just, so you can just go, through them all. go yeah. right through them. Definitely take a look at that five minute video. It definitely like gives you a little refresher course on on what, what took happened. place. Yeah, I just watched all three seasons, so, so I, I don't need, need a recap. Watch it. Yeah, we don't need a recap. Right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, we'll, we'll review the the two episodes later. But I'm just gonna say my opinion right now. I really liked them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I they're they were good. they're both good. And then we have another That's definitely Star darker Wars rebel thing. Yes, yeah, definitely so, darker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave Filoni stated in an interview that season four of Rebels will be more serialized as they wrap up our hero story. And what you so, know, serialized means more of a like story that each episode is sort of back to back to back. No filler episodes. Right. There won't be any filler chopper base episodes. Or, <laughs> Even yeah, the chopper space, bases are really space good. Space whales episode. Chopper right? bases are really good. Uh, it is a good episode. episode, but there won't be any of those episodes. It's basically going to be the entire crew or segments of the crew having to deal with what they're dealing with. with. The, yeah, and more. Yeah, more plot related all the way through to the end. That's good. I'm fine with that. Yeah, me yeah. too. I mean, I, it's, well, it's because there's still so much to tell, and they're I know, only going to yeah. do this the last season. There's, there's right? only 15 episodes, and they all have to. Wind up somewhere prior to a New Hope. Rogue or, One. Or Rogue I mean, have you seen it, that poster? Yeah, even Rogue One for Rebels. And our my sister Jordan, like, actually came up with a pretty good like. She noticed something in the poster. Have you seen it? Where it's you know Zeb, and then you have like Kanan and Hera over here, and then you have Sabine and Ezra right here, and Choppers in the middle. Have you seen that one? Mm-hmm. It's like, I think. Hold on. I think it's like the thumbnail of one of these links. Could have sworn. Hold on. Yeah, right there. Oh, that okay. One? okay, this yeah. one. She noted that everyone except for Hera and Chopper in that you know picture has lasers firing at them. So there's a laser firing directly. You can see it right there at Sabine. There's a laser firing at both Kanan and Ezra. And then above them, you can't see it, but there's a laser firing directly at Zeb. However, Hera and Chopper are completely untouched. Maybe they're not getting shot at at all. Maybe they're the only ones that make it. Yeah, so that's one thing that my sister oh, caught up on, and I was like, That's some deep cuts right there. Yeah, that's that's some like deep cuts. That's, like, <laughs> that's reading into something. That is analyzing a poster, if I've ever seen analyzing a poster. <laughs> but I mean, it make. I mean... I could take I could see it. I could totally see where she, Hera and Chopper were the only ones that made it out alive. Yeah, I mean, we know they're in Rogue One. So. Yep. Yeah. Boy, that's going to make for some hard episodes Just later in this yeah. season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Definitely. Now we have Toshi Toy Box. Station. Toshi Toy Station. <laughs> box. Box. <laughs> the Toy Station Box. So, <laughs> you want to read what we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to... Both Ryan and I got our Sideshow Collectible... Bosk one sixth scale figure. So make sure there's not a glare on there. So, right. Yep. All right. So we're. So yeah, got him right he already got out. him out. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go through the whole thing like I did no. last time, and it took With me forever the to get him out of, took I mean, me get him out of the coffin. Luckily, you guys didn't need to see the the mess that was trying to get freaking IG88 out of his. Box. Or not? Uh, sorry, not IG88. No, four, four loom. Yeah. So here he is. In his, all of his glory. 
one of the coolest is, bounty hunters this ever. My, this is my favorite bounty hunter. <laughs> he but, is awesome. Well, of the of a new hope. Or, or Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back. Back trilogy. Yeah, uh, Imbo yeah. is probably your favorite. Imbo is probably my favorite of all of all time. So, Trandoshans are kind of strange because they have longer forearms than they do biceps. Biceps, yeah. yeah. Than, than upper arm. It's like a it's like a lizard. Yeah, it's like a lizard. So I mean, it's very detailed. Yeah, the scales on him are very detailed. detailed. He's very cool looking. His legs. Can't wait to mess with him. (laughs) He's got all stands up pretty well. Yeah, for not having a stand. I mean, it comes with a stand. He's got his gun. He's got extra hands (laughs) for gripping. Yep. So action. It's just cool. It's got you know everything's just. I'm excited to this guy's. I don't know who the. Artists are at Sideshow Collectible, but those people are freaking... <laughs> they're pretty damn good at what they do. Yeah. Now, my, my favorite one hasn't come out yet, which is Zuckus. That's, no, that's, that's, that's my... next on my list. I think yeah. it's coming yeah. into this year, I think. I that's that's, that's coming... my favorite bounty hunter of all time. He's by far my favorite. So, yeah. I mean, it's just Bosk, but he's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love his... Uh, one thing that I always liked about Bosk was his outfit. Well, well, you I know, know where that came from. His right? yellow jumpsuit. Yeah, it's it's just a recolored rebel pilot. No, no, no. Suit, ain't it? That suit actually came from an episode of Doctor Who back in the 1980s. Oh wow! It was a a space pilot on Doctor Who show. Who show. Oh okay. Yeah, and they just reused <laughs> they it. They just <laughs> reused it for for. for I Bosch. always thought I always thought it looked very similar to the rebel pilot uh, suits. It does just, has just a not similar look. And orange. I'm not so sure that they didn't take. The Rebel pilot, pilot design off, off of, of that the, Doctor Who, Doctor yeah, Who. probably suit. So, but I mean, it is it's cool. It is really cool. But there he is. I mean, we're not going to go into a lot of detail, but he's. Once it's, it's <laughs> how would you feel cool if right. they brought in Bosk as kind of a villain in in um in the Han Solo movie and him and Chewbacca duke it out? I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, it would be. I mean, I mean that would know, totally make sense because Trandoshans, Wookies are mortal enemies. Yeah, they hate each other. Right. Especially yeah. if you watch Clone Wars, where Chewie gets put onto the the hun- island when he's getting hunted by the Trandoshans. Right. The hunter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, such a great episode. Uh, that's, that's one of my great, favorite. Arcs. Oh, that whole arc. That arc, that is, arc is awesome. Yeah, it's because so Katanu and freaking Chewie. It just brings so much younglings. more. Yeah. like interesting dynamic to like the world, and I love I love the Trandoshans like kind of like traditions yeah like i love their you know right they're like the hunt. they're like predators they're like yeah the predators That's of exactly the star wars yeah yeah and i just love that tradition and like how they have like heads mounted on their walls. walls i mean it's totally freaking yeah. i love how there's different sizes of them too like yeah. there's a the short fat one yeah and the then the tall ones. ones yeah yeah, yeah. i mean they're not all the built the same, same you know mm-hmm. just like a lot of creatures yeah aren't the same but yeah that's they're totally the 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 Wookie. predator, the predator of yeah. the Wookies. But I, what, did Alien come out? No, did Predators and Aliens, the, the oh, well, comic yeah, book, after. come out after this, right? Yeah. So maybe they kind of based the Predator after the Trandoshans. Maybe. Well, <laughs> I mean, there was books. Who knows? Written. I mean, I don't know how much they had like written into Bosk's backstory Sorry. for Empire Strikes. Or Back. just Trandoshans in general. general. True. Right. But they're definitely the the predators. They hunt. They like they kidnap people and throw them on an, on they an island on a planet. For sport. And they hunt them for sport. Yeah. Now one one race that I always wanted to see more of is the 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 Shistabon. I think that's what they're called. Wolfman. The, oh. Yeah. The I always wanted to see more of them. And I remember he got his own that Black, character. Black Shivrak. Black Shivrak. Yeah. Uh, I remember he got his own comic had... book back in um in the expanded universe it was like the tales of the cantina and he got his own yeah he got his own uh is that a dark horse comics yeah he got his own comic now this bosk is a re-release i guess you would say yeah like there's a lot of the collectors that had him prior him and ig88 are both re-releases re-releases so they the those collectors that had both those figures prior to this re-release were sort of, you know, they they, they were upset. They were upset. Yeah, 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 justifiably upset because they had something that was kind of rare. It was pretty rare, and there wasn't right. a lot of them made. But I was glad that they put it back out because I didn't I have did, the, yeah, yeah. I didn't have the opportunity back then to buy one. Right, and I, and did, I didn't want to pay the price on the secondary market. On the secondary market, right? It probably been double what you paid for that. Yeah. One. 
And you probably would have paid it had they never have. Uh, yeah, I probably released. would have eventually <laughs> re-released the uh, Bosque and the IG88. So yeah, we both sort of got in on that. I mean, we got into the whole six scale game fairly late. I mean, oh yeah, really. big time late. This, I mean, it's been going on for quite a while. Then, oh, Ryan, yeah, it's been going on for a long time. I've only yeah. been doing it for like the last year and a half. Right. And Ryan's second favorite is coming out last. Oh, Dengar. Dengar. Yep. It's That's coming his out yep. next year sometime. That's probably my second favorite too. He's got a good backstory. They well, they're really developing his backstory well. I think through some of the other medium comic books and and he was in Clone Wars. He's in Clone Wars. He gets he like flirts with Ventress, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. (laughs) So is Bosk. Bosk in Clone Wars. He's friends with Boba Fett. Yep. Yep. He's he's actually one of his mentors. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Because along with Aura Singh. Yep. All right. That's all for Tashi Toy Station. So we'll go to gaming with Gamorians. And we got some more beta bad news or <laughs> upset beta players. So we got people are pissed about Star Wars Battlefront 2 loot boxes. Big surprise. You know, I didn't see this one coming from a mile away. So it says, so the Sonny, he, t- he tweets out, checking out the Battlefront 2 beta and it's already abundantly clear that the loot box car- star cards are going to be a huge problem. Pay to win. Pumpkin King Lou Boo says I like the name. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> that's a good that's a good name. God, I hope Battlefront 2 is the game that destroys the loot crate concept and it's with its awful integration. And then like this <laughs> and so like yeah, it's just why? And I'm and, and and he said that like your little note here says that Dice is saying that they're listening. Good. Just yeah, you're listening. Do something about it. Well, I'm, you know, I'm hopeful. You know, I don't play the games as much as gamers do, but I'm hopeful that you know they're running this beta test and they'll fix the issues. Yeah, yeah, that's problems. what a beta test is, is for. Yeah, that's what it's for is to as, find out the problems and fix the yeah, problems and to get feedback from the people who are actually going to be playing it and make changes. To, yes, and, you know, and honestly, EA and Dice don't have. to to do anything if they don't want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't have to appease to the complainers out there, to the squeaky Uh, wheels. (laughs) Yeah. They don't have to appease them if they don't want to. Yeah, I mean, they are are a business. So to say that, you know, when they come out and say, yeah, we're listening to you, at least that's something. Yeah, that is something. It's just that, you know, it is the whole thing with, you know, games. If you're going to, like... People will still buy your game, but there are going to be those, like, you know, people who are like, no, I refuse to buy this game because it has loot boxes in it. Right. You know? It has that pay-to-win feature that I don't like. And so I just, I won't... No, but you might have the other side of that coin where it's like, they don't have any loot crates on them. I'm not, I can't pay to win. I'm not going to play that. Because there's the people that they just want to dominate. This is true. Right. And they... Basically, want to cheat the system, but and, a lot yeah. of people hate those people, <laughs> and, they, and it will be better off without them. <laughs> the game will be better off without them. So it's yeah, it is a dual-sided coin. Yeah, it's, um, of the yeah, it's two sides of the same, same coin. coin. Yeah. Yep. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see if they fix the problems or not. Yep. I still want to play. Yeah, me oh, too. Oh yeah, I, I, I'll simply buy it just for the story <laughs> mode. If yep. anything else. If nothing else. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, let's get into the extra chatter. Let's just go ahead and go over episodes one and two. Yeah. Of season four. four. Non-spoilers. We'll, we'll go. just give our overall yeah, yeah. thoughts. Okay, so no thoughts? Yeah, no, like, and we won't even go into spoiler territory afterwards. We'll just give overall thoughts about what, okay. Okay. what we thought about the first two episodes. Um, I really liked it. I thought, I liked the look of Mandalore now kind of like this de- like desolate desert wasteland and in, in, in you know in, in Clone Wars it was beautiful I loved Mandalore in Clone Wars because it was so pretty is this just oh. one of the moons of Mandalore no no, no this is, this is Mandalore. Mandalore they're on Mandalore because they had the main city is right Sabine there Sabine says where, um, okay, to Ezra right. Right. And Sabine says it to plays Ezra a role it plays a role. at one point where she's like it used to be filled with beautiful grass plains but I never got to see it like that. It was before her time. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, it, so it's... Just war after war after, after war has just yeah. devastated the, their It's planet. just so sad 
to see spoilers for Clone Wars Satine's like just goal of having this you know peace on Mandalore, on Mandalore just, just completely, completely destroyed, destroyed. Yeah. and it's just so sad because you know I I love Satine she was probably one of my favorite Clone Wars characters that's and a great arc too Duchess, yeah Duchess, Duchess Satine yep. Duchess Satine like in her goal I really wanted her to achieve her goal of, of achieving p- peace on Mandalore while staying neutral like I thought that was a really good move on her part I don't want any part of this you know freaking galactic war I just want to be alone on my planet yeah. that's that's all she just wanted leave us alone and we'll leave you alone yeah but then the death watch came and messed everything up right well really the, it really screwed everything up was the empire finally showed up and that's what right the yeah emperor, the emperor well, I mean, and the empire came knocking and that's this is true the thing I loved about these first two episodes is watching Sabine's uh coming of age yes yeah and becoming an adult and maturing and, and being you know you know that's making that, hard decisions making hard decisions that's right. what the story is about it's about yeah. her her story arc of and her like her coming of age yeah her, yep so that's you know and, and they were they're both episodes were great definitely go out there and watch them right i mean <clears throat> i sat down and watched them tonight and as i was watching the first thing that hit me is like god i love the music the music <laughs> is great I mean, yeah it had that like a little bit of Tatooine type music in there. They're like, you know, when you see Luke. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Like, not not Luke's theme, but some of the, like, just the Tatooine. That, do, 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 yeah. do, do. that one. Yeah, just a little bit. Like, yeah. Re- like, but then change it up a little bit. And I, like, I noticed it right away. It's like, that's like the first thing you said. Like, he's like, I love this music. That's right. the first thing you said because I was watching it with him. That, well, also, for you, for you then, Thrawn fans, there's just. He has a slight cameo in, in this the episode. Second, in the second episode. In the second episode. Um, and he stays true to his character about, you know, loving, you know, he's, he loves art and he loves traditions. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil anything, but let's just say one of his officers kind of, who's a Mandalore, kind of breaks a tradition or uses a tradition as a weapon. And he does not like that. No. And it's kind of interesting to see Thrawn be like, I don't care what the Emperor told you. This is what I'm telling you. Right. And I'm telling you this is wrong. But you know what? It's your funeral. So he, And like that's... <laughs> and that was his end. And I, I just love... I love that dynamic of him. That he loves tradition and he hates to see it used as a weapon. Or destroyed, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, for you Thrawn fans out there, you definitely have some Thrawn in here. Being yeah. true to his character. And you just get a whole lot of more, like, Mandalore, you know, lore. Yeah. Mandalore <laughs> lore, yeah. Right. yeah. More of the clans and how right. they work. and Yep, and you get some, like, some people show up that you haven't seen in a while. Well, I mean, it's just it's, awesome. Yeah. I mean, oh, so can we if just... If you're fans of Clone Wars, you'll like the appearance of one of the characters on there. I mean, it's just, it's also, like, right. I know what, like, sideshow collectibles I want them to make now. I want a Finn Rao si- sideshow collectible. Oh. I want Sabine's mother as a sideshow collectible. I don't remember what her name is, but I love her armor. Like, the golden oh, yeah. the yeah. golden armor that, that her and uh, Sabine's brother wear. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that clan. The, the clan. Rin, Rin, clan Rin. Clan Rin's yeah. armor. I love that armor. Um... Yeah, I just, I would love to, I, I like the, I also really like the uh, kind of mesh between the Stormtrooper and Mandalorian armor that the Mandalores have, the Saxon Mandalores have. Yeah. They kind of yeah. have this mesh between yeah, they kind Mandalorian of and, and. They're uh, definitely Imperial. different than the other Imperial. Mandalorians. Yeah. Yeah. So. I just like learning about how the Mandalore armor is like. Works and, well, and how it's Like dealt. how it's old, like way old and like. They just rework it to fit, fit them, fit their bodies. Like, yeah, like and their ancestors used that same armor. They right. just so, yeah, modify all the it so blood, they can wear like, it. You know, it's not really a spoiler. All the like, battles, so it means, like all the blood, memories, battles, blood, and all that that was shed. Yeah, it's you it's, know, in it's the part armor. of that it's armor. Part of the armor. Yeah, and 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 also, the armor is a part of them. Yeah, right. it's oh, it's a hundred percent part of their traditions and part yeah. of who they are as a people. Yeah, it's so, kind of like a lightsaber with a Jedi. It's a very good two episodes. Yeah. So. Two thumbs up. Yes. Very good. All right. So now you come to my question of the day, which is what 
are your so we're gonna do this down the row so we're starting with oh, Ryan <laughs> starting with me throw me the, throw me the curveball yeah, see right. if I can answer it <laughs> three hopes for Last Jedi so three wishes three things I want to see and three predictions oh crap three hopes three hopes three hopes well I, I hope that we do learn Ray's backstory and where she came from okay and to Jay's dismay, I'm hoping it's not a Skywalker. <laughs> I'm hope this is my newest. Well, you're not gonna okay. like my three predictions. <laughs> <laughs> this is my this is my new theory on who Ray is. Ray was a youngling at Luke's Jedi Temple. His daughter. It was all no, dis- no not his daughter. No, it was de- it was destroyed <laughs> by <laughs> it, was, it was destroyed by Kylo Ren in the Knights of Ren. Mm-hmm. And to save her life, he took her, dropped her off to Onkar Plot, who he thought would take care of her. He didn't because he was a jerk. That's my theory. Mm. And her parents were killed by Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren at the temple. So that's where she. That's that's so, her. That's her lineage. That's so that's my, so that's so your that's prediction my, and one wish. So that's one, my wish is that my prediction is. Well, no, my wish is that they. Uh, yeah, that, that you learn gonna, more. That you learn about what it is. Your my point. my. My hope and slash is, prediction. And prediction. <laughs> no, it's not really a prediction. That this is what I would hope would happen. Okay. This is what I. So, another wish, or no, another, yeah, another wish would be maybe, I, I definitely want, we're going to get it. I want more Snoke backstory. Mm-hmm. What's I don't his, think we're going to get a lot. His of, end game, though. I definitely think we're going to get some motivation. Mo- motivation, yeah. What motivates him a little bit. Uh, hope, I don't know. I hope that they don't kill off Luke. If you're gonna or do they, that, save or that. Or they tone. turn Luke to like the bad dark side or some stupid thing like that, because he would never do it. He's already been tempted so many times by the dark side, <laughs> and he never flipped. Why would he freaking do right, it now? Right? Why it makes now? no sense. There's a lot of people out there saying, "Oh, he's gonna flip to the dark side." No, he can't. Oh, look, he's wearing black in this photo. Oh, he's got a hood. <laughs> well, well, I mean, <laughs> first time we saw Obi Wan, he had a hood. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> return to the, return he had to the, it on. Return to the Jedi. He freaking Luke had a black hood and a black hole, black outfit. He right. didn't turn to the dark and side. And he was then. using freaking force and he used, choke he used on the force Gamorrean. choke on Gamorrean guards. Right. He didn't turn to the dark side. No. Nope. So shut up about the freaking Luke turning to the dark. No, I can see him. Happen. I can see him kind of testing the waters just a little bit. Like he was, you know, dipping into his toes into yeah. it. Well, I think he's to kind of find that when, balance. When he says that Jedi's got to end, it means not that he's going to die. I mean, he, I think he's just like we got to give up this order, this Jedi order stuff, well, I, and go to more just do what you need to do to survive. I think. Since yeah. This, here's the funny thing, and then since this <laughs> last trailer came out, it seems like everybody has forgotten what happened in the previous it's teaser. teaser. <laughs> Right? Everyone like, is... like blown. <laughs> their minds are like erased. Like, they've been Jedi mind tricked. <laughs> they don't know what happened. And I re- dis- think we remember Luke saying, "Okay, what do you see?" Ray says, "The light." Yeah, Darkness. the darkness. A balance. The balance. It's so it's much more. more. It's so much more. So much more. So much more. More. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna. No, he's not gonna turn to the no. dark side. But that's what a lot of people are saying. You know, it's, just, right. it's driving me nuts. And so, three predictions so, now. You got are, your three. Uh, hopes. Those, those are my hopes. Is that so? Basically, raise Ray's lineage. Raise lineage. Snoke. Ray's not friggin' Luke's daughter. Snoke. More, more, more backstory on Snoke, and that Luke doesn't turn to the dark side. That's my wishes. My predictions for this movie are: you're gonna see at the very, very end of this movie. The redemption starting of Kylo Ren, the the redemption story, the redemption arc where he's going to turn back to the somewhat. I don't think he's going to go full on light side, but I think he's going to turn back towards the light side, and he's going to start. You're going to start seeing the crumbling of him and Snoke's uh, relationship. Yeah. Okay. Because of what he does to Ray. Yeah. Is what Snoke's going to do to Ray. That's one of my predictions. So you're okay. going to see that. Um. Another one, another prediction. Man, we're right on the spot for these predictions. Um, <laughs> I predict that both Finn and Phasma will survive the battle, battle. between the, the two of them. Neither of them is going to die. It's going to be more of a more of a stalemate or something explodes and they can't, you know. I'm sure Phasma. They can't finish the battle and they're not going to, no, neither of them are going to die. Okay. 
Um, Let's see the last one. Uh, I think you'll see an arc where Ray starts kind of, you know, Luke's training her, she's going well, and then she starts to drop off the cliff. But then she's, it's kind of like a roller coaster, and maybe Snoke gets a hold of her, and he tries to turn her, and he starts to, and it looks like it's going to happen, and then she comes back from from a little bit of the dark side, back to the light, and that's where it's going to end, and you're going to have to wait till the freaking next movie to figure <laughs> out if it actually takes, or if it if she comes fully back, or if she's like a middle gray area Jedi. That's my prediction. Okay. Jay, All your right. turn. My first okay. hope is that Ray does not turn to the dark side or even start down that path. That's no? my first hope. Okay. That, that does okay. not happen. Okay. <clears throat> my second hope... Kill one of my predictions right off the bat. <laughs> I just hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. My second hope is that we see... And this is probably going to happen, but my hope is that we get to see Luke and Leia together in a scene. I mean, we did have that one picture right. from yeah, Vanity and, Fair, and right? Yeah, something, and something major, too. I'd like to see, like, right. a major scene where it's not just, you know, oh, here, hi, 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 sister, hi, brother, right. hey. We, yeah, it's been a while. We, we've, got, <laughs> yeah. we've, we've got to go, we've got to go do our it. only things, right. yeah. So hopefully no, it's I, like an actual sit-down, I want meaningful good, conversation. Yeah, I want right. a good reunion with them. Right. I'm, so I, I'm hopeful for that. Okay. I also hope... I hope that Poe has a little, like, a little bit more to do with the story than what we've seen so far. Yeah. Like, I hope that they utilize his character as he as he starts to transition from being like this star pilot to a more leader. of a leader and more of like you know, and more of a commander. Yeah, like a commander, Leia, or an Akbar, or somebody of that type. Okay. He's more of like a military. Like general. No, I do have a little bit of a prediction on <laughs> them. This because of what you said. You hope that you see Poe. I have a feeling if they do kill off Princess Leia's character, that's gonna piss Poe off because he is a loyalist to Princess yes. Leia. Yeah. They are like he's almost his like right. oh she's he's almost like she lost Kylo Ren. She kind of you know adopted Poe po. as her son. And, and I think he's going to go after her. It's I don't, it's not going to be Kylo that kills his mom. It's not going to happen. No. But if it's maybe it's Hux that does it. Or, or no. Hux commands somebody to do it, and that pisses him off. I wouldn't be too surprised to see him go out and freaking hunt that, hunt him down. Hunt Hux down? Yeah. Well, all right. On to my a, predictions. My first okay. prediction comes right from the trailer. Ray, Ray is Luke's daughter. Luke, <laughs> Luke is Ray's father. <laughs> <laughs> Although, we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> My first prediction is that we see Kylo Ren contemplating shooting, and I do believe that's at his, the bridge that his mother is on. on. Yes. I think he gets intercepted by Poe in that moment. Like, he's going to do it. Like, yeah. Oh, and he, Poe, Poe shoots him. He pushes the trigger, and but but just as he does it, Poe hits his ship with something. And it, like, and it like, yeah, launches the <laughs> blast the off. Blast the off. Okay. Yeah. So that he was going to do it. He was going to, but he, um, Poe intercepts. So I think... That's one prediction I think is going to happen. <clears throat> Two, I believe we're going to find out that Ray is Luke's daughter. Okay, why so? <clears throat> and the newest trailer even drives that m more home to me than it did. How? <laughs> than it did before. If anything, for me, it just proved further that she isn't his daughter. Well, let him finish. Okay, yeah, okay. It's be continue. I don't think he would be so reluctant to train Ray if it wasn't his okay. daughter. Like, he doesn't want to screw up his daughter like he did his nephew. Whereas if Ray was a nobody, like, okay, let's take another shot at this. But since I believe that Ray is it, that's why he's like, nope, I can't put you through this. Um, when he has that line, like, you know, um, Oh, what's the line? Like the way, well, I don't think he's actually talking to Ray here, but he says, "I've you know, seen this before." No, not this is way. not going to go the way well, you, you think. think. Oh. Right? I actually think he's talking to Kylo. Yeah, there. me too. I think he's talking to Kylo with <clears throat> the Knights of Ren right there. But I also think it has something to do with Ray. Like Kylo learns about Ray and who Ray is, and that's why he's like, 
you, I know what you're wanting to do, but it's not going to go the way you think. Because, well, Luke won't let it happen that way. I don't, you know. I just, something about this trailer and the way they interact just makes me think it even more that Rey is Luke's. And I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> Until they prove you Until wrong. Until they prove me wrong. Okay. <laughs> Until I'm proven That's wrong, fine. I'm going to stick That's with fine. it. So let's see. Third prediction. Did I have a third prediction? Yeah, yeah. That was your second one. Yep. I think, well, going off of one of your predictions about Phasma and Finn, I think we're going to find out that Finn was one of Phasma's, like, star pupils. Maybe. And that, but I, I do believe that Phasma's going to wipe the floor with Finn in that battle. I don't think Finn stands, a, I think he stands a chance in the beginning, but I think Phasma overtakes him and doesn't hurt him. I think they get separated, like I said, in an explosion mm -hmm. or something. Something yeah. else happens that has to divert their attention. Yeah. From each other, but I think Phasma wipes the floor. My hope. I guess it's a hope as well as a prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess mine now. Uh, my hope is that we get to see. Well, we get to see. I'm sure this will happen, but we get to see what Snoke's whole goal is. Because, you know, throughout the novels and stuff, you, you, you hear from the First Order, like Brindle Hux, he says, our goal is to bring order to the galaxy. That's why it's called the First Order. Okay, but why? <laughs> what is so... Cause it, What's so bad about the galaxy right now? Right now. That you need What's so bad order? about the Republic that you hate it so, so much, much that you want to destroy it? Why does Snoke want to destroy this the, the Republic? And also, we has seen, has watched the Empire rise and fall from from afar. What? Why? Why was he watching that happen? What? Like, was he studying? Was he like, okay, this I won't do? <laughs> you know, like taking notes. I don't know. So I hope we get to see that. Uh. F secondly, um. I hope actually, that Rey doesn't meet up with Finn or Poe until, like, the ninth movie. I hope that they kind of stay split up uh, throughout this whole movie and never, like, cross no, paths with I, each other. I agree. I hope that doesn't happen, too. Because I, I like it a lot better where she's doing this thing, they're doing their own thing. and it, and But it all kind of interconnects, but without them meeting each other. So, for all Rey knows... Finn is still, still in the back to tank, and for all, like, and Finn doesn't know where Ray went. Maybe, maybe no one told him where exactly he uh, she went, so that way he doesn't go and try to find. The only her. thing he, they might tell her is he she went to find Luke. And that's all. Yeah, that, that's and, all you get. Yeah. So, yes, that and then, yeah, I hope that there is some serious Poe action in this movie because he's one of my favorite characters so far yeah he probably got the least amount of character development in <clears throat> force, force awakens, awakens yeah. so he definitely needs more I and, agree with that. yeah and I, I like the scene where he's you know we have the spark to burn the first order to the ground what does he mean by that right was it the destruction of star killer base or is it something else oh. is it a new super weapon that the resistance have been working on yeah i don't know so i'm, I'm hoping that we get some real good character development with poe Maybe, you know, again, like you said, Leia gets killed and he just is seeing red and he's just flying out to go hunt down whoever did it. Right, or does Poe say that the whole spark reference is we have our Jedi back? Like, or we're getting our Jedi back? Maybe. 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 You know, I don't know. So, so, my prediction. Who knows what he's referencing there? My prediction, my first one, I think that... The Rose Page and DJ story will be extremely pivotal to like everything that happens. That's one thing that because didn't give us anything. Else. Why didn't they show us anything about those those three in the trailer yeah. at all? There has to be something so important with those three that like it just changes the whole game or something. So I hope that that's a very important, um, you know, arc or storyline that you that you follow uh the other prediction that i have 
is that, and I know you guys are probably going to hate this, but I think there might be, at, at the end of this movie, I think there might be a hint of, of a complete, like, role reversal between Kylo and Rey. There might be, uh, Rey might be captured by the end of this, of this, uh, ep of this episode. Who knows? And then Rey might be going to try and save her from Snoke. I don't know. Maybe what happens is, is that R Rin doesn't kill his mom. He, he decides, I'm not going to do it. Takes his hand off the, you know, wheel. No. Snoke is like, fine, you little wimp. If you won't do it, I will. He shoots down Leia and, you know, boom, destroyed. Kylo somehow gets under, you know, like, resistance arrest or something. And Poe is like, you know, about to, like, whoop him. But Ren is like, no, 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 it wasn't me. It was Snoke who did this. So now those two team up to go after Snoke. That could be a possible thing that happens. That's a major flip that's that a, happened. <clears throat> that's a pretty big, uh, <laughs> pretty big flip. So, if that happens, that would be interesting. And maybe the person who, you know, Ren is holding his hand out to might be Poe or Finn or someone he's trying to team up with to take down Snoke. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Who's well, he the, handing his out, hand out to? I, I believe Who's extending his arm to his hand parts, to? Parts of that trailer were very relate, Like, they related to each other. I also believe that A lot some of, of those... Had nothing, nothing to do, to do with, with each, each other. other. Yeah, me too. It's all clever editing. But and still, then, who would he hand... Why, I mean, just thinking of who Kylo Ren is and what you saw of him in the first movie, why would he help anybody up off the ground? Anybody. Right. That's what's kind of weird when he's put his hand out. He's like, I, that might be the beginning of his... Redemption. His redemption arc. I don't... I don't know. So, like, yeah, you have, like, this <laughs> unlikely duo of maybe Finn and... Rin or or Rin and Poe and they're going out and like they absolutely hate each other but they have to work together. It's kind of like that episode in Clone Wars where Count Dooku, Obi-Wan and Anakin yeah. get strapped together in Hondo's prison and they have to escape together. Like that's one of the best episodes and I love, you know, dynamics like that like two characters who hate each other have to work together. together. I love that kind of storyline. And then my final prediction is the Finn and Phasma fight. Finn will get his butt whooped because of this book right here behind me. I know for a fact there's no way he can freaking compare to Phasma in any fighting style. Especially since, most likely, Phasma trained him. <laughs> yeah. And probably knows every single move that he has under the sun with that little riot baton. Little hair floating around. Um... So yeah, I think that he will definitely get his butt whooped, maybe not killed. And I was talking to our sister Jordan earlier today about it, and she says Finn has not earned his revenge yet on Phasma. Right. He yeah. hasn't earned it yet. And that's why I think he'll get beat again yep. pretty soundly. <laughs> Poor Finn. He's just gonna. He's just getting his. And then he might be able to get <laughs> his revenge on her in the ninth movie. Yeah, he's just getting his block knocked off every fight that he's in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of I, I can see where that would happen. I well back to before you quit. Yeah, my prediction about Ray being Luke's daughter, I don't think Luke tells her. Or maybe he doesn't know and she doesn't know. But maybe like by the end they kind of come to a realization or something happens that makes them realize it. That's the only way. Or I think Luke she's an she orphan and he adopted her. I think it's Luke knows way right I can away. Think of that. When she shows up, but he can't tell her. Okay. Because that would change her perception. Okay. And it it might change. I mean, first I think he's just gonna deny her, deny her, you know, to train her. Like, nope, nope. And then maybe she gets it out of him. Like, why? Then tell me why you won't train me. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you're my daughter. You know, maybe that's like a little bit of a. Maybe. Yeah. The whole, uh, I just don't I'm want... your father moment from, you know. I'm just kind of hoping the Skywalker lineage just goes away. To only to Luke. To, well, only to Ky Ben. Only to Kylo. Yeah, only to Ben, ben Sky ben, Solo. Ben Solo. And that's it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. No clue. We'll see. Oh, and today? Two months, baby. 
two months. months. 60 days. 60 Whew. days. We have two months. So close. Oh, so far. Can't come. Can't, yeah. I know. I can't come. Can't come fast can't come enough. Fast enough. All right, so this was a very nice episode of Red 2 Chatter. I like the extra chatter that we did at the end there. It's always great to do extra chatter because you really get to see us, like, just free-balling it. And nerd out. (laughs) Yeah, and nerd out about things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Uh, Jay, where can people find you? You can find me on Facebook at Red 2 Chatter. (laughs) <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> well, I do most of the posting there anyway. Yeah. You can find me at Instagram, Jaybird fifty no, J Wilson by Design, and Twitter, Jaybird fifty one. Yes. I don't do social media, so I don't even know how to post on Facebook. So. <laughs> uh, and then you can find me on YouTube at Major Glitterix. Link down in the description below. Um, I do. Just, you know, gaming channels, and, and well, it's a gaming channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it right now, so please go check that out. And uh, without further ado, we'll just uh, let you guys have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.